Hello everyone, welcome to your favorite YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. Today we are going to make a C++ project on the topic Travel Agency Management System. Let's see the requirements. First, we require an IDE for running and compiling the source code. Second, we require a text editor. You may use any text editor as per your choice, but the recommended ones are code blocks or VS code. Then an operating system. Again, it depends on you what operating system you want to work on. We have used here Windows 10. There are no such libraries, external libraries used here, but the header files used here are iostream, map, vector and string. So we'll see what does these things do actually while we proceed further. Uh, so we'll see what does these files do in the sections. We have appstream also, right? So did I mention here appstream? We have another file here, appstream. I didn't mention this. Appstream is, is used, also used here, okay? So we'll see what does these things do. I'll explain you and we'll have a look. Okay. So here we have included iostream, appstream and string.h. Then we have used the standard line using namespace std. Then in the next line you can see here we have a character admin, array name admin f and this is going to have all the uh, specialities done, all the corrections done in the file part which will be tip.txt file. Then the user data is going to be stored in reservation.txt file. Great. I guess you are with me till now. Then we have a structure named tour where we have a various arrays basically, various character arrays for the admin, for the user. So uh, place, code, country, days, prices. This is for admin. For user, we have phone, name, people, date, status, code. I mean, that is destination code actually, decode. Then we have the class named tourist, where under the public section, we have various functions, the uh, admin pack, the write data. This is, these are basically the admin functions, the pack, unpack, write data, display, modify. This is for user, pack, unpack, write data, display, search and modify. This is the admin panel. So in the admin panel, if you do not know uh, the passcode and if you do not know the username, you won't be able to open the file. But if you have no file, no data in the file, then also it becomes very absurd to get into the file and try to open it. Correct. So what we are going to do is, so if the file could not open, we simply show sorry the file could not be opened. Or else what does it do? We can get into the file and we can get uh, write the destination code, the destination place, the country of the destination, the uh, number of days of the trip and the cost of the trip. This is for the admin panel. Okay. So this, uh, this is basically for the admin panel. So while you get into the admin panel, then only you can perform the write data operation. This is the admin display. If the file cannot be opened, it simply writes cannot open file. Or else we have, if it can open, then we have these header files, uh, sorry, these headings, serial number, destination code, place, country, days and prices. These are, this is the admin modify. Here you have to enter the destination. The destination code is basically the thing which differentiates it from other destination places. Okay. So this is basically, you can see the primary key. So here you have to enter the values of the trip, the destination code, the destination place, country, number of days, total cost of the trip. So what do you want to update? Do you want to update the place? Then press 1. Do you want to uh, change the days of the trip? Then play, uh, enter 2. If you want to change the cost of the trip, then enter 3. Then this is the destination place, destination country. This is the case 1 basically for the destination place and destination country. And for case 2, you have to enter the number of days of the trip. And for case 3, you have the total cost of the trip. If the trip is not found for any case, it shows trip not. And if the file itself is not there, then it simply displays file not found. This is the user panel. So here we are, there we were working on trips. Now we will be working on destination, correct? If the file could not be found, simply display file not found. And this is the pack, the package. Like what, what do you want to make the changes to the file? This is that. 
this is the right data part where you have to enter your name the contact number number of tourist destination code date of journey and you have to enter confirm as it is to confirm your reservation if the file could not be opened then well and good it can't be opened if it can open then this things this get displayed the serial number name contact number hotel people uh, then your uh, destination code status etc this is the modify function here if the file is not found it simply writes file not found or you enter your name to cancel your reservation so your reservation details will be displayed in such a format that is name contact number number of people destination date of journey status and you have to enter cancel to cancel your ticket and it shows that your reservation has been cancelled then the name contact number number of people destination date of journey and status gets displayed on the screen if the record not found it simply writes record not found or else it writes cannot if the file cannot be opened it writes cannot open file then you have to enter the name to be searched if you want to search something in the file uh, then the reservation will be found and this things will be displayed the name the contact number number of people who are going to travel with you the date of journey and status if res reservation is not found it simply writes reservation not found then this is the main function here it asks you who are you you are you an admin or a user so you have to press as it is so for admin you have to write the admin part you have to go to the admin part and here you have all the choices as a write data display modify etc this is basically the case two, which is the user part. So here you have to basically have the destination, like your destination stop, new reservation, cancel reservation, search for the reservation. Was there any, did I put any admin passcode or something? Let me have a look. Give me a second. This is the admin panel. Did I have any passcode for this? I guess I have not given any passcode. Uh... Mm -hmm. I guess I do not have any passport. Let's do one thing. Let's run the code. Hmm. Okay. So I have to press enter. Hmm. So who am I? Let me say I am a user. My choice will be new reservation. So my name is Simran, not Simran, it's called Simi. My contact number is, let's say 9080706050. Number of tourist one, I'm going myself. The vacation will be day 6. The date which I want is 13th Feb. Feb, 2024. I want to confirm my reservation okay next let's say I want to search for my reservation my name is Simi so my husband it has been found let's say I want to cancel my reservation say my name is Simi so your reservation details are this and I have to press cancel so my reservation has been cancelled now what I am going to do, I am going to do nothing. So I have, I got out of my system. So I hope this is this was clear to you. Now let us just do one thing. Wait. Let us get more deep into the code. Let's give it a shot again. Let's see what happens. See, admin. So for admin what I am going to do, I am going to add a new trips. Destination code is D5. Destination place, say, it should be 2 or uh, South Korea. Because I've been fond of watching Korean drama so far. So, let's say, sorry, number of days, 2. Cost is 1200. Your choice, a display address. So, this was South Korea, actually. Okay, it's fine. South Korea, it became South Korean. Okay, fine. What I have to do is, I have to update a trip because I did something wrong. Uh, destination code my one was 5. So, I have to change the destination. So, I have to change the destination place 
so the destination place will be south korea right because i have been fond of watching south korea no drama right now okay i wrote south korea destination country will be korea so now what i am going to do i am going to display i hope you are clear right now now what i am going to do is i am going to display the reservations so these are the three reservations that i have this was cancelled see it shows now it's cancelled because i just cancelled it correct so now let's get out of this code so i hope you understood the working of this code for more interesting project ideas stay tuned to our channel thank you and have a great day